Jesus said, follow me. He didn't say, talk about me, teach about me. You know, that was not the only thing. He said, follow me. So we really wanted to make a church where people were walking this out. So a couple of intentional choices we made along those lines. We decided, could we actually do church in the modern era that would reach lost people without having a big production on Sunday morning? You know, you think about it, we put tons of energy in those productions and money into those productions. I mean, at my mega church, we had two preachers being paid full time, three worship leaders. So we were putting hundreds of thousands of dollars in the Sunday morning experience. Yet everything I read says the Sunday morning experience is the least effective way to disciple people and help them know how to follow Jesus. So we said, boy, can we actually create a church where Sunday morning is sort of de-emphasized. It's just a gathering of, of the community to get strength and to go walk the way of Jesus in the world. So we meet here in this gym. We have no screens. For a long time, we didn't have a sound system. We only put one in because we realized people couldn't hear anymore as we got bigger. Um, we just hang out in the gym together. Willow you know, Creek certainly isn't short of big media productions. They put a lot of time and money into making multimedia presentations for all levels of their teaching, whether children or adult services. The high school service in particular tends to be very media heavy and has many team members working to provide a clean, crisp Sunday morning experience. They even shot their own music video for the kids. So what is it like working in a church like this as contrasted with Jericho Road? Just introduce yourself and your ministry here. Yeah, uh, my name is Troy Bartholomew. I'm the technical director for Student Impact, which is the high school ministry here at Willow Creek. Um, and then so Student Impact is yeah, it's high school. We have on average about a thousand students who come here uh, every every Sunday for their own kind of worship experience within the, within the Willow Creek community. And it's, it's a cool thing to be able to tailor to them specifically and kind of meet their needs where they are. It is interesting how we spend our money. I know that in, from 2000 to 2010, American Christians spent $75 billion building church buildings. I was reading today that 200 churches in the last year have defaulted on their payments on those church buildings as the economy's changed. Now it's fascinating to me that we think it's a good idea to keep building church buildings even though our impact on the world is declining rapidly. So while we build more church buildings and spend more money to make these beautiful buildings work, and we got waterfalls and huge screens and state-of-the-art video equipment and all this stuff going on, you kind of got to wonder what's our overall impact in the culture. And I know that looking at Willow Creek, a lot of opinions about it is that we are using money that could be used differently, more wisely to try and help a, a broader span of people and actually providing needs. But I know that one of the stands that Willow has is there is that fine line of providing things for people, providing actual physical needs, but also remaining relevant. Yeah, to media today is just, it's, it's so overwhelming that it can be a great thing as far as what you can pull up on your phone and what you can pull up on your iPad and be able to communicate and get directions and find, you know, get movie tickets and restaurant reservations. Uh, but I think it does become overwhelming, and I think it's easy with social networking and stuff like that to have kind of a breakdown in real relationship and have kind of these pseudo relationships with people that you, you know, really don't interact with, you know, face to face. So I think just like any technology and any kind of movements like that, there's, there's pros and there's cons, and people individually need to uh, find the balance between those and make them work, you know, for their lives.